Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is, is setting up the camera for HDR because there's a lot of different choices you have. Um, and, uh, and you want to get these set up. And, and if you get a camera from rental, and a lot of these cameras are in rental, in fact, I think that's where we got most of them so far, um, you're, you're, it's going to arrive and hopefully they'll, they'll have it set up for you. But if they didn't or if you didn't tell them you're going to do an HDR job, um, you need to go and, and check the settings and the output. Luckily, it's not that hard to do. Um, once you know how. Um, you need to set the outputs at the CCU. It's, it's a CCU function, because remember, I told you the, uh, the log raw image is coming from the camera and everything's being derived from that. So it's a CCU setting. So to get to the CCU settings, I can either just go directly to the CCU and hit the menu button and pull them up and look at the engineering menus and do that. Um, but I can also, if the CCU is not near me, I can access those from the HRP, which I'll show you. Now, I'm going to go turn my vector scope to picture. That way, you'll be able to, s you'll be able to see the uh, engineering menus when I, go, when I uh, go to these. So there's picture. And that is the SDR picture, by the way, because it's on the picture monitor output, which is always SDR. Well, actually, I have it set to SDR. You'll see in a second. All right, so to access the CCU menus from the ROP, I'm just going to go down to CCU menu control, and you can see you can see my controller here, and I access that, and then what I do is here, I can turn on the, the characters, and then the characters will appear, and I'm just going to uh, close the iris so I can read those a little better. And, the f and then I can control that using this jog wheel. So with the jog wheel, I'll go down to operation, um, and uh, you'll see you've got system mode, output mode UHD, output mode HD, and then an output, I mean output format for UHD HDR and HD HDR. So what happens then is when I set the system mode, I set what the format is, and then based on what format I selected there, it then chooses the outputs in the other menus, which I'll get to. So first off on the on the formats, if I go to, you'll see I have it in UHD HDR for my setup, but I'll, I'll run down here. I can do UHD, which is SDR, but it doesn't say otherwise. I can do UHD HDR, which is there I am. I can do HD, I can do HD HDR, and then I go into like the 50 hertz stuff for Europe. I don't know if there's anybody from Europe on this, uh, on this stream. So let me go back to UHD HDR. And that's all there is to it. Um, the the um, other format modes in terms of 24P and, and um, 5994, those settings, those are separate after I've already set those. I can always go, I can go to another menu and switch that to 24P in the, in the output menu. Um, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So let me back up then. And I want to look at where my outputs are set for UHD HDR. That's what I'm doing. So in, since I'm in UHD HDR, these are telling me what the actual mo outputs of the CCU are. So 1 through 4, I've got it UHD HDR, which is what I want. And, um, and now if, if I'm not doing 4K and those are independent, I can, I can change them. But uh, one through four, all the same. We're using quad in this case. Uh, although with the 4,000, uh, we have the option, well, with the UCU 600 anyway, we have the option of outputting 12G, but uh, that's another discussion. So outputs five and six, which are, uh, I've got set to SD, SDR, I mean to HD, SDR. Now, I don't have to. I can change those to HD, HDR. I could change those to 3G. Um, so, you know, whatever I like, but I'm doing HD, HDR just because I don't have to worry about which monitor or which switcher I'm going through. Um, it makes it a little bit easier for our purposes. So HD, HDR. So I'll keep those there. So outputs five and six, seven is independent, and eight is the engineering menu monitor output that I'm looking on now. So that's the stuff I need to set on the outputs, but I'm not done. There's one more thing I got to check, and this is a, a something where you want to remember this. All right. Um, 3G, level one, that kind of stuff. Trunk, Pico, I won't get into. But uh, HDR color imagery, very, very important. 
my choice here on the, on the, H, the SDR colorimetry is 709. You don't have a choice. All right. Oh, well, I mean, we can get into the matrix settings, but uh, that's another discussion. So HDR colorimetry, I've got it set to 2020. That's simply 2020, BT20, or BT709. So if you want to do HDR with the 709 color gamut, you can. Um, if you have an HDR display and, you, and it's not supporting that color, um, although most of them do, but you want to, most cases, set it to 2020. won't matter for this demo because, as I said before, you can't really see it. Now, um, the important thing about that is not so much where you set it, but that your monitoring is set to the same color gamut. So if I have this set to 2020 and the monitor is set to something else, or if I have that uh, monitor is set to PQ and the camera's outputting HLG, then I'm going to have problems. So I want to... So if something looks weird on the HDR monitor, um, you'll want to double check those settings, make sure they match. And gamut, we have a wide gamut. And, and actually, the one other thing I want to point out there, so I can choose normal gamut or wide gamut. Similarly, in 2020, we want to go to wide, we want to go to wide gamut. But again, we've got to make sure the display supports wide gamut. Now, there's one thing that's a little bit counterintuitive. Um, if you're looking at the HDR on a SDR display, when you turn from SDR to HDR, you might expect it to get brighter. But it doesn't. It gets darker because the monitor, sort of like a post amp, is, is, um, is boosting that up much more in HDR. So you've got to start it out with a lower level signal. And that's why So when it, it might be in counterintuitive, but you'll see it gets a little lower. Now, same thing with the gamut and color space. When you go to wide color gamut, you'll see the colors get less saturated, not more, because, again, the display is, is increasing them more. So once I know I got these set up, I can shut this. I'll shut this menu off. And I'll go back to vector scope. I mean, no, not vector scope, waveform. So I'll go back to waveform. 